Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're coming with it. Four owls. More four owls tonight for you guys. All right. Well, I guess first and foremost, for some reason, I can't see all the comments. Like I can see that people commented, but I'm I'm sorting that out. I changed the settings, so it should be good now. Um, either way, uh, I appreciate the feedback, guys. Like I, I appreciate uh, letting me know about these artists. You know what they're up to, other ones to check out. Really do appreciate it. So. Thanks. That's really helpful. Um, also, uh, you know, add my like I said, if you like the content, add the Snapchat. Uh, you can get updates, uh, send me direct messages and whatnot. Um, and uh, also, we can uh, you can get uh, an insight of what it's like to live in the glorious Midwestern state of Wisconsin in the great U.S. of A. So. Uh, yeah, guys, add that if you like the content we have, not like before. Man, I'm excited for these guys, dude. I'm excited that I just found like a whole nother world of, of hip-hop, of rap that I didn't even know about. And I'm still adjusting to the accents a little bit, but man, you, you UK boys do not mess around one bit, do you? All right, here we go. Four Owls, not like before. Not a Story. This is the dude whose accent. I'm gonna start just like this dude's accent fucks with me, but I like his accent. Honestly, of the whole group, his accent's pretty fucking dope. Like it's pretty unique. Hard, hard for me personally to get it, but it's it's probably my favorite of this group. <laughs> so so he was going to school just to sell drugs and then he did shrooms and then he started rapping basically it's pretty dope man that's pretty dope Since the old school days, running around on train tracks, spraying up the trains, picking up a eight bag to blaze it in the day. Now I smoke a little less, but it's in the Kush haze. I'll take you back for a lesson, way back to the bricks, the mass open max sessions. Avarice spotted me, thought that I was repping, then we met a little later at the speaker's corner, Mecca. They took me to a studio in Queens Road, Peckham. Recorded for for imagery, it seemed that it was destined. They ain't seen them in a couple years because it's still my bridge and can't forget about the man who brought you in for a second. Like 30, so I fight you. So they're basically going through, like, this dude, I guess his thing was spraying up trains. Well, he was just doing you know just like a wild kid or whatever so they're basically just going through like yeah this is what it was like before not like before you know this is what it was like before and now we're we're out here rapping making dope ass fucking music hell yeah bridge and can't forget about the man who brought you in for a second that 30 certified g the mac veteran one one bless me with beats from his collection got mad nice on the decks of every damn event son also cash had on back we Oh, reminisce. Oh, is that CL Smooth? I think that's CL Smooth. Reminisce, reminisce. Yeah, that's CL Smooth. Who's that other dude in there? But yeah, he, he shouted out R.A. the Rugged Man too. Real heads know that. I'm not even saying I'm a, I'm a, a hip-hop head, but real heads obviously know who R.A. is. R.A. the Rugged Man. Not to be confused with R.A. Rhyme Asylum, which I just became acquainted with. 
I reacted to them, so check those check those ones out too. Leave feedback, you know, all that. Wait, Pete Rock, Pete Rock and CL Smooth. That's yeah, dude. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, iconic, classic hip hop right there. With classic facts. Reminisce, reminisce, remember lacing shoes with chemo up in Brixton Lab. Then he moved it down to White Chapel Place was nine. Lace Fury around, man, it went to plan. Since then I'm high, focused on the present fam. Make music move units, stay repping that. Make music move units, stay repping that. At school, I never used to go and stay at home high. That stoned and zone guy, the same, then you know why. Then college, I wasn't. Is this that third verse, dude, in, in the one that I just reacted to in the, uh, think, t no, 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 in Assassination? Because he just came in, he came in hot, man. He just comes in hot every time. Stay at home high, that stoned and zone guy, the same and you know why. Then college, I wasn't really concerned with that. Mainly went to sell 10 pound sacks and chase brats. Dropped <laughs> out and went back, but I still wasn't focused. Started rapping on beats about how we be the brokest. Drop lost but not forgotten, then was World War Three. He calls World War Three. Damn, man. This guy's this guy's dangerous. Cause kids still pump and listen to the CD that we give them three years ago on a mission. Still leave the page written, hit the stage with us spitting, got a contract and learned how to make our shit thick and cleared our own path like a snow plow. Gained the know-how on how to get exactly where we want and never go down and now Cleared our own path like a snow plow. I gotta hear that again. Like a snow plow. Gain the know-how on how to get exactly where we want and never go down. And Gain the know-how on how to get exactly where we wanted. And, oh, man. Man, these guys, the man. stage with us spitting, got a contract and learned how to make our shit thick and cleared our own path like a snow plow. Gain the know-how on how to get exactly where we want and never go down. And now with that storm on your horizon, with more tracks laid down than a fifth. More tr oh slick rick and dougie fresh man these dudes you obviously they listen to real classic go rap. down and now with that storm on your horizon with more tracks laid down than a 50 year old hoarder still right yo it started back when i heard slick rick and dougie more tra okay he's it sounded like he said hoarder but i'm guessing that's like horse maybe a horse because more tracks laid down horse track uh Still riding, horseback riding, obviously. Down on a 50 year old hoarder, still riding. Hey, yo, it started back when I heard Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh. I was eight, used to play the vinyl when I dubbed cassettes. I mm. spent my teen years weeded out past high with Gangsta Wu Tang Tribe and the far side. I can't uh, lie, I was shouting. He's shouting out the big names, man. Wu Tang uh, Tribe and the far side. Far side, PH, AR, wait. P H A R C Y D E. Check them out. Yeah, tribe called Quest. Slick Rick. Man, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I'm so I'm so glad you guys put me onto this, man. I'm so glad because yeah, this is some real classic stuff. Even the beat alone, it's like this is just classic, classic hip hop, man. This is stuff that this is what I like to listen to, and I never even knew about this. So I appreciate seriously. I appreciate you guys letting me know. Let me know more. If there's more stuff like this or even just stuff with bars, let me know. Gangstar, Wu Tang, Tribe, and the Far Side. Gangstar, I mentioned them in the previous video. I'll stop. I can't stop. lie, I was shy hitting open mics as a kid. But the studio, I was smashing it. I mm. had my first record out, I was 18. Talk with for life, side for that as like a daydream. Mm. Shedded my innocence, then started to grow wise. And grow flow wise, I hooked up with low life. Got some guidance and applied it. Had confidence with Kashmir and goes toward the country and the continent. But still, I had to keep a nine to five to keep the bills paid and quit the weed just to try and keep my mind alive. 16 bars is not enough time to write my entire life. This is just one installment. Now I'm a proud father, grown, responsible. Learn over years, hate kills, love conquers all. So I look to the future after stepping back. Make music, move units, stay repping that. Repping that, repping that. That's the end, but man, he did say something about hate. Hate destroys, love conquers all. That's true, man. We need that now more than ever these days, for real. 
people are getting up in arms about nothing dude about nothing but anyway classic man this is classic right here i don't use that term lightly either i mean this is and they're paying homage too man like they're paying homage homage to the the people who laid the groundwork for them you know and they're taking you through like this was the life we lived this was the life we lived and then we got this direction through hip-hop through rap and i know for a fact like that that's kind of my way like i was in a way damn near raised by hip-hop and in some aspects you know obviously you know your, your parents and, and your role models they have a bit of an influence too but you know like it really gave me a, an outlet you know and i guess these dudes are kind of talking about that too where like they were just you know kind of lost souls and then they found this put their put their heart and mind into it and the rest is history man and i hope it's not just history i hope i hope they keep on with this man or at least drop stuff individually but yeah man i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna check out more of these guys so stay tuned.